Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, you, for having you've me. got a bit of a hike. This is big here. <laughs> it's huge. It's yeah. huge. We're, and you're set up in a completely other area. We're like all the way on the other end and like a little corner. No, it's the West, <laughs> it's the West Hall. It's the West Hall. So yeah. With everything that you've done in your career, what's the thing that you're signing the most when you come to one of these? Um, it has to be Monster High. Monster High, Claude Wolf. Uh, they love Claude Wolf. The best is when... Um, it, this always happens. There'll be a little girl. She comes with her mom or dad, yeah. and they say, "Oh, Claude Wolf," and they'll have me howl, or <laughs> or say, "Clawsum," and as soon as they hear it, they're so shocked that I'm like, "Yeah," it's they hide behind their parent or they run out of the room. No I mean, that's way. happened so many times. What? That's happened so many times because they're so excited or because they're so scared? excited, so excited. <laughs> No, they're not scared. No. Scared like that voice is coming from <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Is, that's you? Yeah, they, no they can't really, or or I'll get like if it's like a teenager yeah. with some man, they're like, uh uh, that's not you. And they're like, do the voice, do it. And then I'll do one of my voices. Yeah. They're like, okay, <laughs> that's you. <laughs> but do you get like a deep cut where someone brings you something to sign? You're like, oh man. I haven't signed something like that in a long time. Yeah, yeah. They'll, well, it'll, it'll be like if they'll bring something from like an old show that I did like from years ago, like a Marmalade Boy or something like that, where it's or Zoo Disney. I'm like, I'm like, I, how do you guys even remember this or yeah, know that? Yeah, yeah. You know this, and where did you find this or get this? There's like material and things that I've never even seen before. I didn't even know they had statues, all that stuff that fans seem to find and come up with and yeah. uh which is pretty cool if we go way back what did you think you were gonna be when you were growing up oh well uh, <laughs> uh my okay let me tell you my first <laughs> class was accordion class so i was an accordion player my mom wanted my mom wanted me to be an accordion player okay and i i, I, I quickly smashed that one and so after that i was like I had to find something, but I wanted something in the arts. So I just took classes, singing classes, dancing classes. But something classes. to do with entertainment. Something with entertainment, yeah. you know, because li I lived in California and and I knew that, you know, this is like the entertainment. So I was like, why not, you know, sign up for these classes and just dive into it a little bit? Because, you know, I didn't want to be a doctor or a lawyer. That, that's not me. <laughs> Than, uh, me. But I feel like when you grow up in California, you wow. either love the industry yeah. or you absolutely hate the industry. Exactly. And there's really no in between. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially living out here when I moved to Hollywood, I felt like I moved from Kansas because all my friends that were living here, they did not touch. They do not come out. They don't like you said, it's like they love it. They're, they're not. They're in it or they're not. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. How much has COVID changed what you do? Because a lot of it was probably going into a studio and doing yes. it. Yeah. Is it now doing it at home? I was just talking about this um, on the show Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, that's what I love the most. The whole cast we got, we, you know, we were all in the same room. And there would be the good guys on one side, the bad guys on the other side. Um, the energy that, we, that would be happening in that room, that was Hollywood magic. And now with the pandemic, it was such, it's such an adjustment because whether you record at home or go into the studio, you're by yourself. Uh, when I say by yourself, there's no other actor. There's an engineer there. Yeah. Um, the directors, they might be on Zoom or something. But Are you hearing the voices of the other characters? Sometimes. Yeah, okay. Sometimes. It depends on if they recorded before I did. <laughs> yeah. Then they'll say, hey, I have, I have Susie's recording before you, so you can hear her. You can play off of her yeah. but it's a a lot of adjustments um but uh, i just miss that that energy of vibing off of, like vibing with you right now yeah no, you know is, what i mean that this energy. is like and one of the best things about the pandemic is zoom and the fact that we can do things remotely yeah. but nothing beats being able to feel no, something yeah like that. yeah that energy man. yeah yeah that's the magic that's that's what i think is hollywood magic yeah that energy you yeah know? yeah what was your first audition like and what was it for Oh, VO. My first VO audition was um, <laughs> actually actually this is funny. It was Space Jam, and it the original was, Space Jam. Uh huh. The original Space Jam, and I didn't know it was for a voiceover. Uh, my on-camera agent sent me on the audition, and 
And, uh, and then when I got there and they said, they had a picture in the room and they said, okay, the lines that you read, um, now you see that picture, make a voice with it. And I was like, what are you talking about, dude? And he goes, Mick, you know, and I was like, okay. And I just, I, I just opened up and did my, like how I play. Yeah. Um, he, he loved it. He loved it. Uh, saw them a month later, two months after that, I, I booked a job on, on the, on the, on the movie. And that's how I kind of learned about the business and got it, got into it. You know, Ivan Reitman and all those guys, um, like, uh, it was so inspirational, you know. This is Ivan Reitman's yeah. done like at this point, like Ghostbusters. Totally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm like, that's Mr. Ghostbusters. Yeah, seriously. I'm like, that's Mr. Ghostbusters. Uh, <laughs> so where do you go to find these voices? You have like how many? Uh, like you have a thousand voices in mm -hmm. you. I feel like you take all the elements of the world, details. I listen to the details. Mm. I don't just listen to just voice. I do, but tones, little details, the creaks, the little sounds, the little. Uh, just those little, you know, gasp, like, that's, I listen to the details. That's what helps me with all the characters, you know, it gives me that tree life, that amp, it, it just colors the picture, paints the picture for me yeah. completely. Yeah. Um, because not only can I, I can see a character and kind of think of what he might sound like, but the details of that character are what really, that's what really paints it for me and really makes the character, you know? So I'm not just saying words. I'm like living as the character. Yeah. So yeah. where does it begin? Like, do you see a photo of what the character looks like? Do you just get the sides or the script? Uh, if you're lucky, you get a photo. You know, <laughs> you don't always get a photo. Um, sometimes the description is a page long. Sometimes it's a couple words. You know, um, it's so different with all auditions that that's why you have to be on your toes. Um, uh, that's why you get to. You have to do your homework. Um, I look up the producers. I see what they did before. I try to find their style, you know? Like Family Guy, that's a style. You know, Rick and Morty, that's a style. So I kind of want to know what I'm jumping into and not going blindly. So um, it, I, I do a lot of homework. I do do yeah. a lot of homework. I do do a lot of homework. And then yeah. do you prepare two or three versions of that character for the audition? I try. Yeah. But if like, if the second or third one sucks, then I <laughs> X them out. I X them. But if the second, if the second one, I'm like, oh, that was, that's a pretty fun one, you know? Then I might give them their version, but then I'm going to give them the OG version. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then the director's version. like, yeah, but could you turn it down a little <laughs> totally, bit? <laughs> totally. Yeah. But I'd rather be turned down than turn me. Well, that's know. the thing. It's easier to turn it down mm -hmm. than to go, hey, give us that times two uh -huh. or three yeah, or whatever. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. 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 So w what's the what's the voice that people are like, can you do this for me right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do a lot of, you know. Just the teen stuff and uh, just the really high energy um, voices like this. It's like uh, crush and like, uh, hey guys, um, uh, Monster High. Hey babe, are you gonna go, babe? Um, can I carry your books, babe? Where are you going, babe? You look great today, babe. <laughs> hey babe, um, can I walk you to school? Can I buy you lunch today, babe? Oh, babe. Oh. <laughs> um, so, you know that's that's me. I. I'm not the James Earl Jones deep tone, you know. Yeah. I am the yeah young man saving superheroes, uh, saving the world, all that. Com saving superheroes. <laughs> Su superheroes don't need any saving. <laughs> I know. This is completely random, but how fun is your voicemail? If I were to call you, is it fun? It used to be. It, <laughs> it used, used to be. It used to be. Now, it, now is it, it like, you have reached, three, one, zero. Oh, no. I just calmed it down. Oh. I just calmed oh. it down, you know. I just say, hey, it's me, O to the G to the I to the E. You know, that's... Ah, okay, so the answer is yes, it is fun. <laughs> yeah. It is, it is. What are you working on right now? Uh, right now, I'm doing... Um, <clears throat> Great Wolf Pack. That's the name that I had to think. <laughs> so, uh, it's called the Great Wolf Pack. Um, wolf, um, the Wolf Lodge, those Wolf Lodge places, those indoor swimming like yeah, places I've or been, whatever. Oh, you've I've been, been okay. with my nephews and niece. Okay, so we um, uh, we're doing a new show. They're doing we're doing a movie, and we have a show coming out with that. Ghost Force, which is out on Disney XD and Disney right now, um, working on that. And Droners, Droners, which is another Disney show. That okay, I'm this is the on. great. Yeah. Once you start working, it's like you can't stop working. That's yeah. what's great, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats on that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's it's like a yeah, it just keeps rolling. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. O to the G to the I to the E. <laughs> thank you so much for stopping thank by. You, my man.
Thank this you. This was great. Thanks for having me. I of course. It.